Today I will show you my favorite keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop that will make your workflow even faster. Don't forget to subscribe for future episodes and ring that bell. So let's start. Hi guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you around 20 uh, great keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop that will make your workflow even faster because uh, it's much easier to do everything with a, on a keyboard with the shortcuts then go and uh, find in a menu that uh, option that you want to apply to your image. You can speed your workflow sometimes even 10 times than normal depends of uh, your experience. So today I will show you those keyboard shortcuts and it's up to you to practice and to use them in everyday workflow. So without further ado, let's go in Photoshop and let's have fun. Right guys, this is the image for today and this is just me enjoying the sunset on a mountain a few days ago here in Serbia. It's really, really beautiful nature. And I was there with my friend and colleague Dusan Stojančević shooting some uh, projects for a French TV. Dusan is a really great photographer and videographer and you, you can check his work by clicking on the link down there in the description. Right now let's start with the keyboard shortcuts and I will show you uh, shortcuts without any particular order. So first shortcut that I want to show you is how to duplicate a layer. You can really really fast uh, do that if you uh, remember that from my previous Photoshop tutorial the shortcut is Ctrl or Command J on a Mac and with that you can really really fast do it. Uh, by clicking multiple times you can make multiple copy of the same layer and without that you will need to go to uh, layer then new layer, then new layer via copy. And imagine that you need to do that twice or three times uh, for the same layer if you want to make a few copy of that layer. It's really, really time consuming process. So by developing a muscle memory, your fingers will be so fast, it, they will fly over the keyboard and you will speed up your workflow a lot. So practice, practice, practice. Right, the next, the next thing that you can do with the same keyboard shortcut it's just to copy portion of a layer. For example, if you use a selection, lasso tool or any kind of selection, and select just this portion of a layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J, we can just make a copy of that selection, right? The next interesting shortcut is similar, and it's for if you want to make a cut out of this selection, not a copy, just a cut, if you like you're using a scissors and just cut the paper. Out, right? It's Shift Control J or Shift Command J on a Mac. So it's really similar shortcut, but you will do a cut from a layer. And that's really handy and I use it all the time, especially when I'm doing my photo manipulations. All right? And let's make a copy. Let's put it here. And now let me show another interesting uh, shortcut, and that's with the brush. If we use the brush, we can use the hardness here, we can right click and choose the hardness, I really like to do that. But if you want to change the brush size, there is a keyboard shortcut, left bracket key and right bracket key. Left it's for making smaller, right it's for making bigger size. I use this method or because I use a Wacom tablet, I have a scroller here and I can scroll and just define a brush size. That's really, really handy. All right. Now let me show you how you can reuse that selection that we use to select uh, this uh, portion of an image. For example, if you do something else in Photoshop, like, like I did here, create a new layer, do something, I don't know, anything you want, and you remember that you need again that selection that you made it, but you didn't save it. You can save the selection by going to select and save selection, but we didn't save that selection and it was last selection used. How to reuse that selection? It's really easy, just press uh, Control shift d or Command shift d on a Mac and you will, for example, we have selection, deselect it, did something here, right, delete that layer, I don't know, anything we did and now shift Control shift Command d and now we have our last use selection here. That's really handy options in a lot of situations, all right? And now let's Let's delete this and now let me show you how you can fill a layer with a foreground and a background color. To fill a layer with foreground or background color, it's really easy. Just choose the layer you want to fill. I will create a new one and press 
for a foreground color, Alt and Backspace. On a Mac, it's Option and Delete. And you will fill the layer with a foreground color. If you want to fill it with a background color, just press Control and uh, Backspace on a PC and Command and Delete on a Mac. It's like this, right? Foreground and background color, really, really easy. Let's delete this. All right, now let me show you how you can sample uh, both foreground and background color from an image really quickly by using by uh, using a brush tool just press and hold alt or option key right and just move click and drag and choose any color you want from a screen for example i want this dark color this is my foreground color and now i want to sample a background color i can switch by using x on a keyboard i can switch those colors and sample background color and then again switch it to choose which one will be background which one will be foreground that's really really easy and if you want to um, uh, set default colors here which is black and white you don't need to go here and just use white and black or you don't need to double click on this icon or once you can just press for example this some colors that we have press D on a keyboard like default and now we have our default colors set. That's really, really great. All right. Imagine that we have a lot of layers here, right? And you want quickly to select a bottom layer or a top layer. There's really handy shortcut for that. And I use it when I have really a big amount of layers, especially when I'm doing photo manipulations. And the keyboard shortcut for that, it's Alt and Comma to select a bottom layer and Alt and Dot to select a top layer. And you can really, really quickly jump between those two layers. That's really, really handy shortcut for me. Let's delete those layers. And now let me show you one again, really handy shortcut. It's uh, I know that a lot of you guys know that shortcut, but I know that a lot of you guys asking all the time, what's the shortcut? For example, you have selection, any kind of selection on an image. So you want to deselect it. How to deselect it? By pressing Control or Command D. Control Command D and it's gone. To revoke that selection, you remember Shift Control D or Shift Command D, and you you have it again. Right now, let me show you how you can. For example, we use a new layer and we just paint something, not that color, maybe this color. Paint something here. And you want really fast to make this circle a little bit darker or a little bit brighter. And you can use keyboard shortcut for that to do it really, really fast to use levels or curves to make those changes. To use the levels, it's Control or Command L, all right? And then you can use levels and make this circle darker and saturated. To use curves, it's Control and Command or Command M. I don't know why it's M, but it's M. And sometimes, sometimes here when I'm using this Contagia Studio, this will not work for me. I don't know why, but I will show you. This is the shortcut curves, Control or Command M. And you will have this dialog box and you can change the brightness and saturation of the color, right? That's really, really great shortcut. Another great shortcut. It's Control or Command T. By using that shortcut, you will have free transform tool and you can really, really quickly make some changes in the size or in the shape of some layer, some, some shape here on the scene, All right? That's really, really handy. So let me show you another really frequently used shortcut when I'm doing uh, my retouching in Photoshop. You know guys from my previous tutorials that I always like to use filter and camera row and I don't like to go here filter camera row. I'm doing always when I'm recording tutorials because I want to show you guys what you need to click it but now I will show you really uh, faster way. Faster way with the keyboard shortcut it's shift control A or shift command A on a Mac and by clicking shift control A or shift command A I will enter here this uh, camera row selection, uh, camera row uh, filter, and I can make some changes if I want, maybe some split toning really fast, and press OK, and then I'm done. All right, I don't want that, so let's undo it. 
All right. And now let me show you another really, really useful shortcut. And that's how to uh, fast zoom in Photoshop. You can zoom by pressing the drop command key and pressing plus and minus on a keyboard. But I don't like to use that. I like to use a better method. It's control or command with a backspace. And you will have this magnifying glass option and just move mouse left and right. And it's really, really fast. If you put uh, the magnifying glass here, for example, on my head, I will, I will zoom this portion of an image. If I put it here, I will zoom this portion. This is really, really, really fast way how you can zoom it. And here while you're zooming, if you let the control command key, you can just move image across and find some part that you want. For example, I want quickly this part, I can zoom it. I want my watch, right? I will zoom it here. It's really, really fast. This, this will speed your workflow a lot. Sometimes you want to see the 100% uh, of an image on the screen and the keyboard shortcut for 100% it's uh, control and one on a keyboard, number one, right? And just a second, control and number one, you will see the 100% of this image. If you want to see a, uh, like to, to be a fit of a screen, press control and zero. This is uh, to fit on a screen one it's full size 100% zoom right now let me show you a few other keyboard shortcuts that i really like to use the next one it's how to desaturate a layer really quickly because a lot of the times i i need to desaturate a layer to see something in a black and white and or i need a black and white portion of some texture to put it in some uh, blending mode for example multiply or overlay to have that uh, texture, texturize effect on an image and so on and so on. And I like to use a keyboard shortcut for that. Let me show you. The keyboard shortcut, for example, I want to saturate or uh, actually desaturate this layer and the keyboard shortcut it's shift control U or shift command U on a Mac. And that's it. We just did it in less than a second. Now shift control, shift control U, shift command U. It's really, really quick. All right. The next keyboard shortcut, you know it already, I, I mentioned it so many times, it's how to flatten all layers into one new layer. It's shift control alt e or shift command option e on a Mac. And by pressing that you will have a new layer and you will have all those uh, layers merge, flatten into new one. And that's again really handy, really, really handy uh, shortcut. And especially I use it always when I finish, uh, finalize my image and I flatten all layers into one, but I want to preserve, preserve all uh, layers down below and to do a color correction on this layer that contains all elements from the layers down below. All right, and let me show you how you can move a selection. For example, you made a selection like this, but you don't want it here. Maybe you want it a little bit to the right. And you can, of course, again, go deselect and start again, but there is an easier way and then you will do it more precisely. Just press and hold spacebar and you can move it. You can then put it right here. Then you can make it bigger by releasing a spacebar or put it like so you want to maybe select this circle and you can nail it like so, all right? And that's really, really, a handy shortcut. Just press the spacebar while you are in the selection mode. And that's basically it. So let me show you two bonus keyboard shortcut that I really use it all the time, but not in my tutorials because it, it can be confusing if I do that really quickly in my tutorials. One keyboard shortcut is how to hide a layer or reveal a layer just from a keyboard. For example, I want to hide this layer, right? And the keyboard shortcut for that is control or command with a comma. And by pressing that, I will quickly hide or reveal just that layer. And I really use this shortcut all the time. And the next uh, keyboard shortcut, it's really, really fun. I don't know if you seen that before. Maybe you did. Maybe some, I know that a lot of you guys will see this first time by using a keyboard shortcut and that's how to change a brightness of a workspace 
because sometimes that means uh, that uh, that can really really help to see a color better or contrast better and so on you can increase brightness and decrease brightness by clicking on shift and then f1 to decrease it now you have a black photoshop or shift f2 to increase brightness we have almost white then a little bit gray darker gray and almost black and th that's really really handy in a lot of situations for example i want this black uh, black layout to better see some things on the image but sometimes i need brighter one to see better some uh, details here in colors and so on because that can really impact uh, your eyes to how they see some details of an image most of the time i'm working on this darker gray background <clears throat> all right guys and that's it for today if i was too fast for you guys you can always slow down this uh, playback and pause and uh... all right guys that's it for today all right guys that's it for today i hope that you find this uh, tutorial useful and helpful and if this was too fast for you i have all the keyboard shortcut listed on my website and you have the link down below in the description right and you can always pause the video and try the shortcut and so on and so on you can even slow it uh, down you can slow the playback down on YouTube that's really really great don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to stay tuned for future episodes if you want to support me and this project please check my patreon page the link is down there in the description and have fun with keyboard shortcuts See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.